First thing you want to do with any uh, membrane insulation and tile, wipe down the substrate, get all the remaining dust and debris off. And this also does give the substrate a drink, especially when you're going over this. This is a patch material. Stuff is very thirsty. See, it's already drying, so I'm going to wipe it down twice. Take the uh, moisture that thins it too quickly, so we don't want that. So we're going to hit it twice. Like I said in past videos, you always want to key in your substrate with a flat side of the trough. A better bond. Once we press this in, it should collapse those. We'll get a good cover. Okay, line's gone, full cover. What I like to do is take the edge of the short side here of the uh, float. Sometimes along the edges, the memory wants to curl up, so I'd rather have it low and add a little bit of thin set. So we do take it. Push it in, push it on edges here, see? Push it in nice, nicely now. So I have any curling going on. See through this try to map, but we'll pull a corner here. I'll show you what kind of coverage we want. She has 100% coverage, pretty much. Pretty much 100%. We got a couple different areas that didn't collapse, but that's good. That's good coverage. Get better coverage stand. I like to do a shuffle on it. That really gets it in bed good, in bed as well. Because technically, you could set this and set your tile. We don't like to do that because if you have to lift the tile, it may pull the membrane off the substrate and break the bond. The only way to fix that is to cut it out and re-thin set. We don't want to have to do that. By then setting it down, letting it dry at least at least overnight, 12, 16 hours, we know we're going to set our towel. If we have to lift one, make any type of adjustments, it's not going to break the bond. It's already down. About 100% dry, but it's dry enough not to pull off.
okay. Now since we got the shredder mat set, this is you don't have to do this, but you can. Saves you in a thin set that when you're setting the towel, I like just to take a grout float and use an excess thin set and fill all your waffles here. Make sure you don't leave any humps so make sure it's nice and tight to the membrane. And by using a grout float it helps with that. If you use a trowel, it's going to leave a little thin layer on top and that could break, especially if you're stepping on it. So you want to keep it tight, so using grout float really helps. See how keep it as grout float? It's almost at a 90. You're not going like this way, okay? 90. It's it nearly all off. Okay? 90 degree angle. Thank you for tuning into our video. Please also check out our Facebook page, Instagram, and check us out on our website, dtileandremodeling.com. Thanks a lot.